Hey YouTube, uh, I'm going to make a quick little tour overview of this 2001 Buick Century. As is, it's on the back lot where most of the ghetto cars are at the GMC Buick dealership. But, uh, there's not really anything special, so I'm just going to do whatever's unlocked, basically. But, uh, this one is going for about 1300 but if it runs right, I guess it could be a decent car. It does have the 3.1 liter V6, which doesn't have much problems, but you do have rust and... Hubcap or no, they're not hubcaps. I thought these those were always hubcaps, and you do have rust. Body isn't in good shape really that uh, at all. Everything's just kind of a uh, divot dent right there. My grandpa had an 05 one for about two years. He got it brand new. I really liked it. Really comfortable car. Not uh, uh rust down there. You have your antenna, which I always thought was a little feature, but uh, just open it up. God knows what's gonna smell like in here. And it uh, smells like cologne, cheap cologne, but uh, it's going to make this one kind of fast. This is soft touch right here. You have nice uh, leather vinyl stitching right in there. You have a soft touch right here. It's, as it is an old person car. Concert sound, which I can imagine sounds pretty good. It's free to sit down because it just smells... It smells alright, but it smells... <laughs> Somebody tried to clean the carpet with carpet cleaner. Anyways, the uh, dash is uh, soft touch. This is more of a hard touch airbag cover. Century Limited. Damp glove box with manuals. Does have all your uh, audio system stuff. Old people system. You do have your uh, no tachometer or anything, which I always thought was odd, but you got those in the little saber. Leather wrap steering wheel with uh, foam. I never liked why they understood why they did that. But you do have a uh, automatic climate control and dual zone. And this is leather uh, stitch, soft touch. But I never, it always clunked around. I never liked the plastic. They use way too much plastic in these Buicks. You do have an aftermarket OnStar mirror. So it also, a headliner is nice and plush. You do have a lighted vanity mirror with sunshade. I'm going to step into the rear. And you pull these for headlights. Pull out for parking lights. Pull out for headlights. And a uh, nice little memory we had. Uh, we usually go uh, bear hunting in the... November, December time up in Pennsylvania on the mountains, and uh, when my grandpa had his 2005 one, we had a, he, he actually drove it up there, and uh, we had a really bad snowstorm, so we had to put chains on it and drive it all the way down the mountain. It was it was pretty good memory, <laughs> pretty funny actually. Anyways, the uh, materials do fall through to the back. Really comfortable actually. It's a lot smaller than the Lesabre though. You don't have as good legroom. Dual mat pockets though. No air vents. You do have an ashtray, which is probably a smoker. This car is actually pretty ratchet. <laughs> no other word to describe it. It's just ratchet. But uh, the back seats are in decent condition. They don't have much wear on them. There's a really nasty grease stain on that head headrest, though. But uh, nonetheless, it's a back seat. So uh, I'm just going to step out. Built in Oshawa, uh, Canada. You can see uh, rust coming around here, which doesn't have it. I'm going to check the mileage real fast if there is a mileage sticker. This one has 200, around 224,000 miles on it, so it is in pretty overall decent condition. I'd say I don't want to say it's in great condition, but why the hell is that almost four grand? This piece of shit, clutch not right. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this quick little tour of this ratchet Buick Century. Thanks for watching. Talk to y'all later. I said thanks twice. Bye.